Police announced today that two more children in the district have been recently reported missing in separate cases. 14 year old Jalen Lee and 15 year old Kiara Edwards. They're both from Northeast and the disappearance of missing black and Latino children in DC has been grabbing headlines all across the country. Our John Henry talked to one Northwest church today, which is working to bring this issue to the fore. On the corner of P and 9th streets in Northwest, a simple display leaves a big impression. I mean, it, it makes you wonder like what's going on in the world. Shiloh Baptist Church set up these signs Sunday morning. They show the names of missing boys and girls from around D.C. I seen the uh, Relisha Rudd name up there and, and that was a familiar name. Each sign includes a black and white silhouette and information about when the child went missing. They grabbed the attention of Adirin Davis as she walked by. Really glad that this church actually made these signs. Shows that these girls are anonymous in the city, and uh, that's really gripping. Really frustrating. Uh, you know, we hear every single day that black women are kind of at the bottom of the totem pole in terms of recognition, especially if one of us goes missing. While many of these children are either black or Latino, the church told us they were not selected just because of their race. More so, the church said it was just important to do something to bring attention to a situation everyone should care about, no matter their skin color. Our children are so vulnerable and have so few protections that we think as a church we ought to do what we can to try and stand alongside them and keep them as safe as possible. While D.C. police say there has been no major uptick in missing children in our area, the department also says it started to use social media more aggressively to bring attention to those kids who do disappear. Everyone hopes actions like those and the one taken by the church will make a difference. Even if we don't make a huge dent, at least we've made a statement. That's because no one wants to see these children missing another day from Shaw. It's, it's crazy. It's sad and it's crazy. John Henry. It really is. WUSA 9. This subject is so potent. It also came up tonight at a public forum on the nomination of Peter Newsham for D.C. Police Chief. Dozens and dozens of black girls and black youth are presently missing in D.C. Uh, police under Mr. Newsom claims that the majority of them are runaways. Acting Chief Newsham did not attend tonight's meeting. This was the second of three public forums on Newsham's nomination. The final meeting is Friday at the Wilson Building. Newsham and members of the public will testify. And WUSA 90 is committed to reuniting families. You can find pictures of missing children on our WUSA 9 Twitter and Facebook pages, as well as our mobile app.